there's been a lot of conversation I've seen with people that I know myself and just people around and stuff online with like, you know, what it means to be a friend and how to kind of look out for friends and how to act with friends and mostly around the idea of holidays and all that. I'm sure most of you are either, you know, enjoying your summers or you're planning to go on vacation or you're doing, you know, more outdoor things or just hanging out with your friends more so now, even if you're not going anywhere. So I've heard a lot of people having some pretty nightmarish experiences with their friends these days where they're going out on holidays and they're quickly realizing that oof this friend who I love and you know really cherish their friendship isn't the kind of person you should be taking to a holiday where you're gonna go do sightseeing isn't maybe the person you take on the holiday to go clubbing isn't the person you take on holiday to go eating isn't the type of person you go on holiday to do adventure stuff like there are different friends in different groups of your friendship groups who you should take to certain things but you don't realize it until you do the thing right it's very very difficult to kind of figure it out <laughs> And you have to kind of go through the pain and I remember specifically for me back in 2018 the first time me and my friend went to Primavera Festival which is the number one I'm gonna say the number one live music festival in the world I don't care what anyone says it's number one numero uno um, it's out there in Barcelona and it kind of covers every single music genre that you need from heavy metal to hip hop to pop punk um, to country to UK rap to DJs and such that everything is covered un under that Primavera sound. It's one of the world best organized festivals. The sound is amazing and the vibes are immaculate. And obviously it's in Barcelona, one of the best cities in the world, right? For drinking and eating, fucking fantastic. But one thing we realized quickly, pretty quickly me and my friend went obviously and then i think the, the we and my friend went the first time me and bobby and then the, the second no and then, in the, and then that first time another friend joined in last minute or tagged along actually after we were there and another time another friend also tagged along with us and one thing we realized quite quickly was that there's certain people that you can't really go on holiday with or if you do go on holiday with them you have to be aware and accept an understanding of how they're going to act because i'm also a, a person who doesn't I'm not somebody that advocates for trying to change your friend's behavior to kind of suit your needs. I think that's incredibly selfish. Um, I think sometimes the hardest thing to do is to maybe just accept your friend for who they are and just enjoy the bits about them that you enjoy. Or maybe decide, hey, you know what? You're not for me totally and I'm going to go another direction. But the idea of trying to change your friends and convince them what they're doing is, I don't know. I think at a certain, at a certain age, it just non, doesn't make any sense. A waste of time. And also I think it goes against the tenets of friendship. Part of the reasons, you know, why you're friends with somebody is because they may have some things that they do that you don't like but because they have more things that you do like they're your friends with them same if you love somebody sort of thing anyway regardless you have to accept that i think right that's part of the thing you have to accept people's you know people's things and we quickly realized that when we we're out there like oh shit this other person is like a bit of a nightmare to hang out with but you're out on holiday now you can't ditch them you can't leave them um you don't want to you feel guilty if you try to and you're just out there together you just have to make it work but along the whole entire way you're like oh my god never again never again never again and i remember the thing that was really annoying and kind of hurtful about that time was that it was pretty fine at the festival when you're at the festival it's fine because there's lots of distractions and music different people sights and sounds blah 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 so you can kind of just enjoy it for what it is but in the moment you guys are away from the festival and you're maybe going out in the morning to get some breakfast you're on the way back from the festival going back to the hotel the airbnb suddenly you're reminded of how annoying that other person is so you kind of have to just accept those kind of four hours before six hours after the occasion are always going to be odd but then the one in between is going to be fine and it's just something you kind of have to just navigate through but then the whole entire time you're sitting there thinking you know what never again never again never again never again but you just have to get through that festival you have to get through that holiday you have to get through that vacation you just have to get through it and there's nothing else that you can do you can't ditch the midway through it's impossible and it is really brutal and sometimes there are some friendship groups that never recover from them those vacations those trips away some friendship groups come back home and never ever recover it fundamentally changes the dynamic of the friendship completely to the point where maybe you don't speak anymore that's how deep it can get and it's annoying and it's really sad because i've seen people which is really odd to say this right but i've worked in i've worked at places where people colleagues that didn't know each other from before they worked there would go on holiday and have a blast 
no issues whatsoever. But the moment they go with their friends who they've known for like, you know, two decades plus, you know, they, to the point where now these people are like their brothers and sisters. They're not even friends anymore. They like they know them at a deeper level. It's a it's a whole entire nightmare. And I never understood that. Like people that you work with who, you know, you'd imagine that's a bit more of a random selection of people. As we have a flick of a coin, whether or not you're going to get on. But people have legitimately, I know, have gone to holiday or vacation with work colleagues and had a completely amazing time. No issues whatsoever. But suddenly you go with your friends and it's like an entire, entire, entire nightmare. And I don't know. I just think personally, yeah, I'm going to say, oh, but cl cl flipping cloud k20 in the chat just um read my mind i was just about to say the worst type of personality for me in the holiday especially in a friendship group has to be the person that's always complaining because i don't really mind a person that doesn't really because some people don't like the person who doesn't have any input in terms of decisions where to go it's always like just waiting for other people to make the plan for them some people hate that person some people hate the person that's like that that comes with no money and expects everyone to buy their food for them or to chip in for them and stuff that's annoying or even the person that maybe has a very tight budget and then tries to heavily influence what the group does like oh, i don't want to go there it's too expensive i don't want to go there da, 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 all that stuff no i don't actually mind that the overall complainer is legitimately the worst type of individual taking holiday with you as a friendship group the worst the person that just complains that can find no that finds a way to find fault in absolutely everything is so draining because in the beginning what you do the mistake that you make because you're such an because you're in such a good mood you're on a holiday and you have a blast you try to fix their mood you try to kind of like help them through it like don't worry man it's going to be fine we're gonna have a good time wait until we get to this place wait until we do this blah 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 uh, this you try and actually help them through it because you think they're just having a bit of an episode but then by the second day maybe even by the, the end of the first day you realize oh this is just how they are this is their temperament when they're like outside their comfort zone they just turn into the complainer person and they become so draining even if you ignore, choose to ignore them even if you're like, you know what, I'm going to let them say what they say, but I'm going to completely ignore them. It becomes so, so, so draining, legitimately draining. Mind, body, and soul. Exactly. Even Natashki, Big Up Natashki is saying in the chat, they're literally energy vampires. And there's nothing, like, I would much rather have somebody come on holiday that has no money and legitimately help pay their way through the entire thing but they're happy to be there they have a good attitude they open to anything because they're broke they don't have any money so wherever you say you're going and you're paying they're gonna come along i'd much rather have that person and go back home be entirely broke myself because i paid for them than be going to the holiday with somebody that's a complainer i swear my life i swear it there's no nothing comes close to that complainer person they are just a complete drain on friendship groups a drain i think on society actually people who just find fault in absolutely everything because you'd imagine my kind of temp my temperament is that when you go on holiday you kind of meant to like show the best of you so even if you are like a, a bit whingy a bit pessimistic when you're back home when you're on holiday you're meant to kind of like loosen up and be a bit more optimistic a bit more bubbly that's what you're meant to do you're meant to kind of be on your best behavior when you're away from home it's sort of like starting over at a new college you want to kind of bring your best foot forward and sort of try and reinvent yourself for this short amount of time that you're away. But some people, whatever, for whatever reason, they go to a new place, new surroundings, and it just makes them kind of shut down. It makes them only see the worst in things. And it just becomes a, oh. But again, like I said, the, the utterly sad part about all this is that you have to go through it. There's no real, you won't realize this until you go away. You won't realize it until you pay the money for the flight, pay the money for the accommodation, you, you you go arrange to go you take what's the same flight there whatever, whatever happens you have to actually go there physically and invest your funds in order for you to realize who the drain in the friendship group is and who is the good vibe and the bad vibe to go on holiday with that's the unfair notion about all that sort of stuff i swear to god it's really really sad but what can you do and then 